Hello everybody, it's Jay Brayson here again, and this is turn three of the game uh, we're holding in the beta. Uh, right, let's have a look. We've got three battles gone on. The one I'm palling, we lost a mammoth, which is uh, not great, but uh, we did take the province, which is good, and with relatively low casualties in terms of flying troops, uh, which should mean that our expansion continues. Uh, Bankish, we lost one maceman, uh, which is very, very acceptable level of attrition. Uh, to take the defenders out, and the caverns of gold, we <laughs> lost all of the raptor and warriors, and then our Nataraja had to do the hard work. So, let's see what an effect the bless has. So we have a Nate fire shield because we're a Nataraja. Uh, we cast uh, bark skin and so on, just carrying on. And here you can see, I guess, uh, possibly for the first time, the Dominion's five um, real-time combat. See, guys on Guard Commander, even if they're flying, will slowly move towards the uh, guy they're guarding if they are um, slower than than that mover in terms of combat speed. Um, I guess the flying was just hard, quite hard to uh, get working right to happen every single turn. Because uh, it's no longer instantaneous, that's another aspect of it. It takes it a little bit of time based on the uh, units between um, whatever's going on. Uh, Commander is taking some damage, but they are routed, so that's okay. Uh, I don't think he would have stood up to all that much more, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Um, I have the sounds turned off because it uh, stops the interface sounds um, from being vexatious. Uh, I've been in the beta for a few months, so I've heard all the clicks and clacks before, and I'm sure watching Dominion's LPs uh, you have as well. Uh, just why I've turned them off. Right, so comes of gold. Where can we go to? Uh, Barbarian province. Go to hell. Um, no, thank you. Um, what are our alternatives? We can go back to the capital, um, pick up some more troops. Might be a plausible option. Um, this province in range, Olantova. As you can see, the uh, you can move between multiple provinces even if you are on land and attack now, if you provided your um, uh, map movement is high enough. Um, so that can be quite useful, especially for relatively fast nations such as Pan and uh, a few cavalry factions. Speedy's garbage, we'll leave it at 5. Um, the other thing I find myself doing a lot more in Dominions 5 is buying one troop um, because that prevents the event where you just lose a province uh, outright. Um, uh, scales are not good, um, so that's certainly something to uh, keep in mind. And even with luck scales, you can now get unlucky events and provinces kind of penetrate through that. Um, which is why I've just found myself doing it. Um, the other thing that opens you up to, uh, if you take high turmoil, is big pop loss events, uh, which can be really quite bad um, due to the new recruitment point system, uh, where having a uh, high population is very important in being able to recruit uh, large amounts of elite troops. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well, and it's kind of an advantage of order, um, even alongside the other stuff it does, uh, although its um, effect on income is a little bit reduced. Um, the effect it has in terms of uh, preventing or making certain events happen uh, is still very much there. Uh, that's a heavy cab province, so I probably don't want to go into that one. That also is. Um, let's go for this. Risk it for a biscuit. And send them both in. Um, theoretically, this should be a relatively good kind of script um, to deal with what we're going to be fighting against. Uh, hopefully the heavy cav won't decide it takes a uh, liking to my pretender because now indies target random stuff rather than just uh, attack closest or whatever because um, that could be pretty catastrophic but if we're sending both then we should be fine um, particularly with a read of 30 units it may be slightly higher than that but with um, quite a lot of them being light cav and militia uh, should be doable um, you can never be entirely sure so the thrones um, we have uh, 12 throne points uh, across 6 thrones, so they're all level 2. Uh, one of them's underwater right there, um, that one's probably quite easy to take for us. Because uh, we do have poison resist and we've got um, skeletal body for uh, 
piercing resistor as well for their spear attacks, um, as well as regen if we can get our uh, dominion over there. Plus we have a decent um, opportunity to get water bring home since we have pretty much all the powers you could ever need for that. Um, this one over here it just appears to be your standard kind of indie province. Um, so I'll probably contain a couple of mages that I could probably ever see. Um, that's an expensive re uh, resource calendar. We'll save that for another time, I guess, uh, in terms of looking for them. Um, yeah, why not? Let's get back a Manu Chief over here. <clears throat> um, so I'll ping that at some point soon. Pinging is less safe in Dominions 5 because you have a chance to retreat into the wrong province uh, to your death, but um, it's still not exactly super dangerous. Um, two mammoths and uh, let's go for some oh why not, let's go for a couple earthbound. Um, just on guard commander they should be doing an adequate job protecting us. Actually no, because they're too slow. Um, I guess some Iron Crows, there we go. See see what, see how they do. Um, I've got Commander Orders, and uh, hopefully our Dominion will spread over here. Heavy Cav is not a great one to go into um, for anyone, but um, I rate our chances more with, you know, a bit of, a bit of magic and uh, a few guards. Potentially, probably the... Um, uh, Prophet could help out as well if I uh, ditch a mammoth and um, get someone to pick it up, probably the back of Mano from over here, get him to come back, pick it up, get a couple more mammoths and then start expanding out towards this kind of area as well afterwards. Um, seems like a pretty reasonable plan. Uh, our mercs we don't need to uh, rebuy yet and there are no more available. Um, so I think that's going to be it for this turn. Um, hmm. I don't know, or do we or do we have this guy go back, get the mammoth himself, and then they can go together into this province? That's probably more sensible, I would say. And this guy should be okay. I mean they can probably go into that province, can't they? Let's be daring. Let's go for that instead, and then we can always come back to the, uh, the Kingdom of Dara at a later point. Um well. I'll see you next time. Hopefully that uh, that play will work out. And uh take care. Goodbye.